Okay guys, glad to see you again. Um, this is the review packet um, tutorial for chapters 13, 14, 15, and 16 of Tiger Rising. We're going to go ahead and uh, get started today. It says, um, Rob seems to be a boy who hasn't much ha had much happiness in his life lately. Uh, what things make you happy? Try to think of at least three things. And I think that's something for, great for us to think about uh, in the time that we're in. Um, I want you to do some journaling. Uh, you can pause and do the questions. You can listen to the tutorial and then turn me off and do the questions later, however you want to go about doing this. Question number one. Describe how Sistine ended up living in Lister, Florida. Two. Find an example of personification in the first three paragraphs of chapter 13. Now, I'm going to give you a hint this time. It's pages 45 and 46, but I'm not going to give you the answer. Now, let's talk about personification. It's like giving a person's quality, that word is like a little trigger, um, a, a human quality to an object. Like um, the tree danced in the wind. Trees can't dance, only people can dance. So you're going to find an example on pages 45 and 46. Um, number three has two parts. Why was Rob so reluctant to tell Sistine that his mother had died? And uh, part B, why was Sistine so upset that Rob wouldn't talk about his uh, mother to her? Four, why did Rob find it so hard to look at the tiger? Um, five, why did uh, Sistine suggest uh, they do, or what did Sistine suggest they do with the tiger? Sorry, I'm getting tongue-tied here. Um, number six, how did Rob describe his feelings of happiness? Okay, on the next page I think you'll see is an extension activity, and this is something you can choose to do or you don't have to do. It just depends if you're getting through with your work quickly and you want something else to extend and do, this would be the activity you could try. I'm going to move on down to chapters 15 and 16. Um, Sistine is having trouble adjusting to her life in Lister. What would be difficult about moving to a new town? If you have ever moved to a new place, you might wish to relate your own experiences when you answer this question. So I'll let you think about that, do some journaling with that. I'm going to go on and take a look at the questions with you. Number one, when Rob's father asks Sistine if she lives around here, Sistine replies, for now. What does this tell you about Sistine's attitude? Number two, how do we know that Sistine was put out by using the phone in the laundry room? We're getting some clues. We're getting some clues about the setting and some of this that we're hearing. Uh, Payphone, you don't typically see those much anymore. Um, number three, reread the concluding paragraph in chapter 15. That's going to be page 55. What does the author mean by the statement, he shook his head and scolded himself for opening his suitcase? Four, describe how Sistine's parents met. Five, why did Rob and his dad move to, List, uh, from, uh, to Lister from Jacksonville? Six has two parts. Uh, briefly describe your impression of Sistine's mother. And then part B, why do you think that she and Sistine do not get along? Now, I'm going to go ahead and pose the question before we read chapters 17 and 18 next week. Um, it says, before you read those chapters, Rob, Sistine, and Willie Mae are all very memorable people that we have met thus far in this novel. In chapter 18, Rob meets another colorful character. We're going to meet Mr. Beauchamp. Who would you say that this is the, uh, was the most unusual person that you've ever met? And what was there about this person that made him or her, her so interesting? So think about that and do some journaling, or you can pick up and start with that next week. But that's just something to think about. I hope you uh, guys have enjoyed my video today.